Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is quite simply a beautiful example of the wonderful Triumph GT6 uh, from 1974 and you'll be aware this is the last period for these wonderful cars when they were made. This one's Carmine Red which I've got to say is uh, a beautiful colour for this car, very popular. Shows off the chrome really well. It's running on uh, Mini Light alloys, which are a good choice, I think, for the GT6. Some people like the original stills. I think the period Mini Lights do look very nice on the car. Now, the car itself has been totally restored um, back in 1990, so an older restoration, but uh, evidence of a um, respray in 2003. And over there, I'm going to show you that in a second, is uh, one of the most comprehensive history folders I've seen, uh, which is excellent to take a lot of the guesswork out of these uh, cars when they start to get to sort of uh, 40 years plus. Now the car will come with a uh, MOT certificate um, for the new owner. Um, in the UK, as of, uh, I think it's the end of uh, May, uh, 2018 they sort of did away with the need for older cars to have MOTs for sort of 40 years but our policy is to still uh, supply cars with an MOT we think it's a very good uh, uh, tester for, for an old car um, I'm going to sort of show you around the, the body of the car now despite the fact it's had this full restoration please do expect they're going to be one or two marks um, here and there nothing at all serious the car is gleaming it does look beautiful in real life sometimes the camera lies but very very good chrome it's got the two exhaust pipes stuck out the back there which is uh, you can forgive them that because they look great don't they um lovely and original um i'm going to lift up the bonnet because uh one of the great things about cars like uh, the body off triumphs uh, the spitfire the herald the gt6 it's just how easy you can get to the whole engine just by lifting these two side straps up with the whole bonnet it locks off over there and now have a look how lovely that is there's some great photos which show this engine this engine's been stripped and rebuilt um, we've recently put this car for our own workshop we've got a chap who uh, comes and does some work for us who's a real um, triumph expert he's set up those Strongberg carburetors he's got those running beautifully well in fact he's had a general fettle with the whole car and uh, I'm going to take you around the other side and just have a look how clean and very attractive that that car is as I say quite a lots of standard features on there and so manual fuel pump no electronic ignition for what I can see Oh, actually, I could be wrong there. Uh, got an alternator, but it's all in very fine fettle. There's a big battery there which starts it with no effort at all. This one, you just flick it and it, off it goes. And uh, a genuine joy to drive. This one's an overdrive model, which you know you may as well have it. Let's have a look inside. Typical Triumph wooden gearbox it's got this original steering wheel with a steering wheel cover there's your period sort of pioneer radio in the background you can notice your overdrive uh, gearbox very nice dials this one's got the rear seats now I'm gonna sort of uh, sorry for the angle um, really good headlining throughout there um, got a little bit of wear to this driver's seat but I think where the chap who restored it was coming from we wanted to try and keep it nice and original and uh, I think you can forgive it a bit of wear just 58,000 miles displayed and having looked through many 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 years of MOT certificate with no reason to believe it isn't original obviously it's very difficult to warrant the mileage on cars when they get to this age but uh, we're confident that uh, that could well be it's genuine low mileage and um, the best thing you can do of course is come and see these cars Look how original its shield stood in place there. This isn't fiberglass, this is all metal. And it's obviously when it was done, it's had a new uh, bonnet. Very valuable these days. 
and look how lovely and original she looks underneath the engine bay. I'm going to quickly take you to this history folder, which is a joy, because as I said to you before, this really does take 1984, 88, and then we can see the car down to its chassis there. That's a body off restoration, uh, bare metal, and uh, absolutely lovely and year by year catalogued over the years all the expenditure car brett is there uh, battery bay overhaul overhaul in 2012 looks like some uh, restoration done right up through the years and then a heritage certificate there so wonderful history beautiful car she's in stock now Grab one of these GT6s while you can. Um, they are becoming more valuable year in, year out. Good ones are getting scarcer. I genuinely tip these cars to be a, an expensive future classic. So buy one while you can. This is a lovely example. Oh, I don't want to end on a negative, but we have had a bit of a Heath Robinson repair here. Can you just see there's a little bit of color bleed in this door? Look at how solid she is through there. Look how lovely she is elsewhere. Um, sadly, it's very difficult to get a perfect car. Um, as I say to you, there is the odd sort of little stone chip here and there with the car, but no corrosion, no deep scratches, no gouges. She's an absolute joy to look at and drive. She's in stock now. Please get in touch to arrange a test drive and you could be driving her home very soon. Thanks, folks.